Audience on implementation of analog switch off and second part roll out of digital switch over. So you are welcome because before you come, I met with my colleagues and I told them that you know you request for this audience. Before you continue, let me start by introduction. Let me start from my right hand. Pleasure and my privilege to be here today to pay you a courtesy visit. Part of which is to intimate you on the progress so far made in respect to the digital switchover and especially the rollout second phase of the rollout which uh, will commence in Lagos on Thursday to 29th of April. Mr. Chairman and distinguished you know, senators, please permit me to let you know that I'm here with other members of the Ministerial Task Force. On my far left is uh, Mr. Ebom, who said you mentioned something very important, but important thing cannot be done without financing. Number one, I need to know the source of funding, you know, to change this from digital, I mean, yeah, from analog to digital. That is number one. Number two, I'm very, very happy to hear that all these things you are doing it because of our people, for the benefit of Nigeria. You mentioned, you know, we are expecting employment from 1 million to 50 million, you know, workers, in which is a very, very good idea. So, I think um, if we make it that way, because you said if the project started, it will last for, I think, three years, if I get you right. So, now, I don't think there is any problem for that if the funding is okay and where the funding comes from. So if it is okay for us, I think uh, it's something very simple for us to support it. In terms of bill, that one is very simple also. We'll see a way that we can try to put this to the committee of the whole for their approval. Thank you very much. Let me go back to my colleagues, maybe they have something to contribute or question to One read paragraph two. The second phase is scheduled on 29 April 2021 in Lagos and subsequently in Kano, Rivers, Yobe, Gombe, Imo, Akwaibom, Oyo, Jigawa, Ibonyi, Kasena, Anambra, and Delta State. So, I don't know, you did not uh, clarify that. That is one. Secondly, my second question is all about um, digital system, in which you are always mentioning TV, television, TV, television. How about the radio? Because we are all doing it, you know, to generate revenue, to create jobs, as you say, to the people. Why, why did you forget radio? I need more clarification from you, Honorable Minister. Thank you. Minister of Water, uh, sorry, Federal Minister of um, Information. You see, we have been trying to digitalize the, the board or their own board of that radio corporation. We tried and tried all in vain. So I don't know what is, you know, so hard for doing that. You can, Honorable Minister is here. DG, NBC is here, and other dignitaries, we are all here. Just think over it, add it, so that we work it together. It's a very simple thing. As I said, our population is over 200 million, about 90%, if not 
are listening to radio more than television. I'm not saying television's matter is not important, but radio is more important than television. Why? Because I'm always with our people at the grassroots. So I'm telling the fact. So you go and work it out again and include it so that we work it together. Thank you for listening.